Grandfather. My God, you're alive. Very astute observation, Fancy. <laughs> but how could you be alive? We were told you died in that train wreck. Your train was hit by a missile. I saw it happen. You were on the train when it blew up. Obviously not. Because here I am, very much alive and kicking. But how? It's impossible. Oh, Fancy. I'm a crane. And it would take more than a train blowing up to get rid of me. Okay, Mother, you call the airport. Find out if Ethan and Teresa took one of the crane jets and if they did, where they went. Honey, if you had just listened to me, none of this would be necessary. I am going to try to get in touch with Ethan's assistant. Maybe he told her where he went on his honeymoon. Oh, there was the answering service. Hi. Yes, this is Gwen. Uh, there has been an emergency Hi, this with is our Rebecca daughter. Crane. I'm trying is to get in touch with Ethan. Is the 747 available? And he is not answering his cell. Yes, I understand he's on his honeymoon, but like I said, this is an emergency, what, what, so I would, I would really appreciate being retrofitted? Um, okay, well, how about the airstream? As soon as uh, possible, when you that... contact him, I'm, I'm at the Crane Estate. Oh. Yes, I understand. All right. Thank okay. you. All right. No one is using any of the crane jets at this moment. And I could not reach Ethan's assistant. I guess he gave her some time off because he was going to be on his honeymoon. And honey, if you just opened your mouth and told Ethan that he was little Ethan's father, there wouldn't even be a honeymoon. You know what? I know that. I really know that. And I do not need a lecture about it at this moment. Look, I am just saying. <sighs> Mother, I know. I fully know I should have just blurted it out the second we got into the chapel. Yeah, you should have. And the minute we find Ethan and Teresa, believe me, I'm going to tell them right away because there's going to be no happily ever after for that little slut. Good. Okay, this time, no stalling, no interruptions. You say, Ethan, Teresa has been lying to you all along. You are little Ethan's father, not Julian. End of story. Yeah, and end of marriage. Teresa thought her wedding night with Alistair was bad. Oh no, this is going to be the worst night of her life. Wow. This is... This is wonderful. Now, this is beautiful. This is... No. <gasps> You're beautiful. You are beautiful and I love you. And I'm going to spend the rest of my life proving that to you. Ah, somebody help me! Oh. Okay, okay, I won't scream, I won't scream. Please don't do this. You don't have to kill me. Oh, but I do want to share, don't I? I don't know why you're making it so difficult. Please help me! Don't come any closer. Rusted her throat. Okay, if they didn't take one of the crane jets, I mean, they couldn't have traveled very far. Uh, maybe they took a train into Canada? Or maybe they just drove somewhere close by. Well, we could see if Ethan's car is gone. No, no, no. He would have taken the limo for sure. Of course. It's his honeymoon. Of course he'd take the limo. But where would the limo take him? I don't know. Well, you were married to him. You should know if he had any favorite places around here. Mother, I don't know. I don't even know that anymore, you know? I don't know. I mean, I guess he, he used to love going to the crane cabin. Okay. Okay, I'll check there. No, no, no. No, you know, I'm going to check that. I have something else for you to do. Um, like what? Okay, you have pretty much slept with, what, the entire male staff here? Uh, Gwen, is that any kind of question to ask your mother? This is no time to be modest about your track record. Have you slept with a limo driver? Well, you know, I always try to be fair and equal opportunity, and then there's a Christmas bonus. Oh, my God, and... yes or no with the limo driver? Well, okay, okay, yes. Okay, good. So, please call him. Ask him if he drove Ethan and Teresa anywhere tonight. All right. Consider it done. I mean, Reggie's always been very taken with me. I'm sure he'd accommodate me. 
Oh, Teresa, get ready for your biggest nightmare. It's exactly how I dreamed about spending my honeymoon with you. <sighs> your dream is my dream, you know that? I want you to close your eyes now, though, because I, I have a little surprise. A surprise? Yeah. Actually, it's, it's just as much for me as it is <laughs> for you. Uh, really? Yeah. You get to put it on. I get to take it off. Okay. So how did you manage to do all this on such short notice? Because I'm a resourceful guy. That's, that's what you married. And to be honest with you, Gwen helped out too. Gwen? Did you tell her where we were staying? No. <laughs> no, nobody knows where we are, okay? I'm just saying that if Gwen hadn't helped us out with the wedding arrangements, I probably wouldn't have had the time to do this. So she, you know, can't find us, right? <laughs> Do you really think that Gwen is going to come all the way over here and start causing trouble? Yes. Well, then you need to stop worrying. You really do. I think Gwen has turned over a new leaf. And I think that uh, she's actually happy for us. She helped us get married, for God's sake. Yeah. Yeah, and she um, definitely wanted to be at our ceremony. Honey, maybe she realized that she has caused you a lot of pain over the years, and she wants to make amends. I mean, she's not a bad person. She's a good woman. If you say so, yes. I do say so. But why are we talking about Gwen? I, I want to get this honeymoon started, okay? Me too. All right, now, now close, close your Okay, I'm closing. Okay, open those eyes. <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Thank you. You like it? I do. Like good luck. I can't wait to see you in it. And I will be right back. Mm. <laughs> right, Vincent, come on. Just put the knife down, okay? You don't want to hurt Sheridan. Huh? How do you know what I want? Vincent, please. I told you to <laughs> shut up. All right, Vincent, I can't Vincent. stand a word of you. <laughs> Vincent? What do you want? What I want is to see this bitch dead. No, 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 no. You don't want that. You don't want to add another crime to your list of charges. Yeah, what difference does it make? I'm going to be executed anyway, and it's not like they can kill me more than once. So I, actually, I don't think you are going to be executed. Well, obviously, you haven't gone to trial yet, but I'll bet that they seek some sort of treatment for you. Yeah, that's what my mommy said, but I don't believe it. Vincent? The police are looking for you everywhere. There's no way that you're gonna get away. Oh, I'll get away. You see, not until I've done what I've come to do. Right, Vincent, Vincent, hey, look, listen to me. Why don't you just put the knife down, okay? Just put it down, and then we could talk. Huh? I don't want to talk to you. I've seen the list, Vincent. The police have a list of names to people that you want to kill. So? Oh, so they're protecting them. There's no way that you're going to be able to get to any of them. Oh, yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see. Vincent, you're not going to be able to, and there's no way that you're going to get away this time. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised what I can do, Officer Pretty Boy. You have no idea what type of power I have behind me. Someone who helps me. <laughs> Who's that? Who are you talking about? You think I tell you? You're a bigger idiot than I thought. Yeah. Vincent, listen to me, okay? Nobody wants to hurt you. We want to help you. Yeah, right. I'm not falling for that garbage. Neither one of you give a damn about me. Please help me. Shut up! Ah! Vincent, we want to help you. That's all. Yeah, right. You want to help me? You should be thanking me for getting rid of this evil woman. You have no idea what type of monster she is. 
my wonderful aunt Sheridan was willing to do just about anything to come between you and Fancy. No! Who no! told you to talk? Shut up! Look, you know I'm right, Louise. You know I'm right. My wonderful aunt Sheridan is capable of just about anything. She even tried to kill your own sister, didn't I, she? I know. I know she told me. She said that if she killed Teresa, you would keep me from being executed. <laughs> so that makes it okay? No, of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't, but I, I can understand why she did it. But this, uh, Vincent, this, this makes no sense. You know what? Just get out of here. Let me kill this evil woman so I can get rid of one of your most horrible nightmares once and for all. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Westmore, and I am so excited about Passions moving to DirecTV, so don't miss out. Call 1-888-999-0433 to get DirecTV. You look great. <laughs> you look beautiful. You, you, you take my breath away, Teresa. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <sighs> A toast um, to Mrs. Teresa Winthrop. And to my husband. Mr. Ethan Winthrop. I love my name. <laughs> I do. Good. I can't believe we're, we're married. We finally did it. We're married. I know. If this is a dream, I definitely don't want to wake up. <laughs> You always said, you said fate was going to bring us together. You said it for, for years now. How did you know? I just knew in my heart that there couldn't be another love like ours for either of us. Well, fate has brought us together, and now there's nothing that's ever going to tear us apart. Nothing and no one. I love you more than you could ever know. I love you, and I always will. Where have you been all this time, Grandfather? Yes, why didn't you let anyone know you were alive? And why didn't you come home? Well, I'm here now, aren't I? So you wanted people to think you were dead? Oh, exactly. You didn't... Accomplish so much more when people uh, no longer think of you as a threat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you survived that train wreck, does that mean that Luis's little boy did, too? No. No. He, uh, he didn't make it. I mean, after all, he wasn't a true crane. Anyway, had some of that Lopez Fitzgerald blood in him. No, he, he uh, blew up with the train. And, and your daughter, Beth? Uh, yeah, probably. Don't you know? You see, Beth had uh, just as good a reason to uh, disappear after that train wreck as I did. I mean, after all, she's uh, wanted on two continents. And uh, if she did survive, I'm sure she didn't want anyone else to know. But how can you be sure about Marty? Trust me, he had a terrible, horrific death. Oh, God. This is terrible. I can never let Luis and Sheridan know. They know he's dead. I know, but their only comfort is in thinking he died instantly when the missile hit that train. Well, I don't want them to know that. No. How can you be so cruel? The 
child is dead, what difference does it make? Grandfather, I can't believe I'm hearing this. <laughs> Look, I did not come here to talk about Luis and, uh, what, Sheridan? I came here to get you. Me? Why? Yes, because you're the, the, the only, you know, you're the only part of my family I gave a damn about. You know? You're my favorite. So, I want you to come with me. I want you to get your things together, because we're leaving. No, no, I'm not going anywhere with you. You're a monster. You're evil. You destroy people's lives. I don't want anything to do with you. You are my passion for life. People have told me what a horrible person you are, but I never wanted to believe it. And now, I see you for the person you really are, and I'm not going anywhere with you. Take me, Grandfather, Don't I- come near me. Don't. Why? Why don't you love me too? I'm your granddaughter, just like Fancy, only I don't care what you've done. How can you be so cruel to Pretty? <laughs> That's pretty much a cruel joke, isn't it? <laughs> pretty. I think you, uh, are pretty much of a gargoyle right now, especially with all that uh, pizza stuff on your face. Uh -huh. You should probably rename yourself Ugly Cray. <laughs> Please don't say that. It's not my fault. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, what makes you think I would want to have anything to do with you anyway? Hmm? Crane, women are beautiful, that's all they're worth. I mean, they're nothing but accessories, and you're far from beautiful. Oh, you are a monster. She is your flesh and blood, and you treat her like garbage? You're the only suitable granddaughter I have. Pretty means nothing to me. Nothing. Security guard at the cabin said the place is deserted. Yeah, I didn't get anywhere with Reggie either. What? You said he would easily accommodate you. Yeah, well, Reggie isn't playing, not since he got married. He got married? <sighs> yeah, and he's gonna be faithful to his wife, go figure. Okay, so what? I mean, you don't have to sleep with him to ask him if he took Ethan and Teresa somewhere tonight. I know, and I have. Okay, what'd he say? He said that Ethan made him promise not to tell anyone where they went because they need complete Privacy. Oh, this is, this is just maddening. I mean, if Reggie knows where they are, then, like, we need him to tell us. Honey, Reggie is not gonna budge. Trust me. I, I did everything to try to get him to talk. Look, I even offered... Mother, I know, I'm sure. I'm sure you did everything you could, okay? But I'm not gonna let her get away with this. If I have to call every hotel and inn within a hundred miles of Harmony, that's what I'm gonna do. What? What? I think you're being a little overdramatic here. You know, maybe you've been watching a little too much direct TV. I am gonna find Teresa and I'm gonna destroy her once and for all. Sheridan, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Just go. Hey, well, see, that's the thing, Vincent. I, I still don't understand why you feel that you need to kill Sheridan. Because she deserves it. She pretends to be all sweet and good, but she's not. She's evil. She's true crazy. Vincent, I'm not evil. I'm your aunt. I love you. <laughs> that's a lie. You don't even know me. You think I'm crazy. You're a crane too, aren't you? Yes. But I wear it on the outside, not like you. 
I don't hide who I really am the way you and the other cranes do. I don't pretend to be all good and sweet and stab you in the back. I stab you to your face. Yeah, well, what has Sheridan done to stab me in the back? I told you. She was willing to do just about anything to come between you and Fancy. But Fancy's no better. She lied to you about pretty. So, who's the bad guy? Me or them? You know, isn't it better to be upfront about your feelings, Louise? I don't know if I could live with myself if I was duplicitous as Sheridan and Fancy. You're right. You were so right. I didn't want to believe that Sheridan was actually that devious. But you're right, you totally helped me see it. What? Why, Louise, what are you saying? He's saying that he agrees with me, that he's not gonna stop me from killing you. Isn't that right, Louise? That's right. No, Louise, you can't let him do this. Oh, well, sure oh, you can. <laughs> That's right. In fact, the more that I think about it, the more I realize that Vincent has you pegged. He's figured out who you really are, Sheridan. Oh, no, 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 no. Everything that I've done, I did it because I love you. You love me? No, that's not love. That's manipulation. Exactly. You're nothing but a cold, manipulative witch. That's right. Oh, my God. Yeah, you really are. You're just like your father. You are, are truly Alistair's daughter. No, that's not true. Oh, of course it's true. You've had everything you've ever wanted. What did I get? Nothing. I'm a friend and I got nothing. He's right. And you know what? You're right to be upset about that. Yeah. Well, I won't be upset for long because I'm going to right some terrible wrongs. And I'm going to get rid of the unworthy ones. You know? And if you're smart, Louise, you'll let me do it. Oh, you'll let me do it. Because she deserves to die after what she did to you and your sister. Please, please don't let him do this to me. No, I'm sorry, Sheridan. He's right. You have done some unspeakable things to me. I can't save you. No, Louise, don't leave me. He's going to kill me. <laughs> well, well, well. It appears your knight in shining armor is gonna let you die. No! No! Are you saying that you can't love me because I'm disfigured? That's exactly what I'm saying. That's so unfair. I, I, it's not my fault. Fancy did this to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. I, I remember that incident very well. You and Fancy were fighting over some boy, and all Fancy did was defend herself. No, no, she threw pool chemicals in my face, okay? She destroyed my face. She's the one you should hate. Pretty, I love you. I never would have done it deliberately. It was an accident. Well, nevertheless, Fancy, you've kept your good looks, but, uh, Ugly here is a disgrace to the family name. Pretty, don't listen to him. He is a bitter old man and he lashes out at anyone and everyone who tries to love him. He can't love you because he can't love anyone. But I love you. You're like this spirited filly in my stable. You know, your spirit has always been one of your best qualities. Grandfather, listen, I know I'm a disgrace to you, but... I've been to plastic surgeons all over the world, and they just, they can't fix it. I'm sorry I disappoint you, but look, I manage to hide it behind my hair most of the time. I mean, most people don't even know that I'm scarred. Yeah, but I know. So why don't you just go back to where you were hiding before? Excuse me. But don't tell people you're a crane, because ugly is not crane. Grandfather, please, just give me a chance, okay? I, I can help you. I could be your best ally. I don't want you, my dear. You're pathetic. And I don't want to be a nursemaid. So, Fancy, come with me. We're leaving Harmony. 
Leaving Harmony? Oh, yes. You have nothing to keep you here. Actually, I do have a reason to stay at Harmony. Oh, you do? Oh, you mean Luis? Mm-hmm. Well, Sharon's taking care of that for you. He knows that you've disfigured your sister. So he doesn't want to have anything to do with you anymore. That's not true. Not true. <laughs> you know, he's beneath you. And you should be thanking Sheridan for keeping you and saving you from a pedestrian, mediocre life with that peon. I love him, grandfather. It's too good for him, princess. It's too good. You know that your grandfather will make sure that you have everything you need to have a good life. No. I won't leave Luis. Come on. You're not going anywhere, grandfather. Except to jail. Hmm. They're not at the Harbor House either. God, this is a small town. How many places could there be? Honey, tourists love Harmony because of the fabulous cranes. I mean, there's a new inn popping up practically every year. You know, give me your list. I'm going to call the places that aren't in the phone book yet. Well, what about you and Ethan? Was there ever some romantic, secluded place that he liked? Mother, look, Ethan took me to a lot of romantic places. He's not going to take Teresa to some place we went to. Oh, wait a... You know what? Wait a minute. What? There is a place... We never stayed there, but we found it a couple of years ago. We were hiking by the cliffs. It's this quaint little inn. It's romantic, kind of secluded in the woods. And he told me that if he ever got married, he'd want to spend his honeymoon there, but we never made it. No, of course not. When you got married, he was always mooning over Teresa. You know what? I bet you that is where they are. Mother, let's go. We have a honeymoon to interrupt and a marriage to destroy. Okay. And did that feel different to you now that we're now that we're married? You know, I didn't think it could be better, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> oh my god, wait, did you see this? Uh this room is air conditioned. H E I R <laughs> air conditioned. Okay. That's really cute. <laughs> no. Well, this is the honeymoon suite. I bet a lot of errors were created right here, huh? Yeah, I bet. Heck, we probably even made one of our own just now. <laughs> probably. What do you think? It's possible. Yeah. You know what I would love to have with you is a son. A son? Yeah, I want to have a son with you. I mean, I know we already have a daughter, but wouldn't that be great to have a son together? You would like that, right? <laughs> I would love that. Come on, it's every man's dream to have a son. It doesn't mean that I, I would love little Ethan any less. I mean, you know. You know I love that kid like he were my own son. Oh, I, I know. I know. And it might not be fair to Julian, because he is little Ethan's father, but I have to remind myself all the time that I'm not little Ethan's dad. You really love him, don't you? I really do. He's a great kid, I love him. But I would love to have a son with you. If I'm ever gonna tell Ethan the truth, now's the time. You know, there's um something that we need to talk about. Something that you need to know. Please don't go, Louise! He's going to kill me! <laughs> yeah. He's not listening. He knows I'm doing the right thing. And now, you're gonna die. Oh, God help me! <laughs> God can't help you now. You know, why should you? You disobeyed all the laws of God. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please help me better, I swear. Please, please don't kill me. No, no. You please. can't talk your way out of this one. Not this time, Aunt Sheridan. <laughs> You're done for. But because you're my aunt, I'll make it quick.
There's something that um, I've been wanting to tell you for a really long time. <laughs> you look pretty serious. What is it? You know how I um, I named my son after you because I wanted so badly to believe that he was our son. I mean, you brought him into this world. I know. I, I remember that night in the cabin. You were in labor. I mean, I was so afraid that I was going to lose you that night. You are amazing. It's, um because of you that my son is healthy. It's because of you that he's just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God we, we were able to deliver him. And you've been a big part of his life ever since. Well, it's, it, it's only natural that I would feel bonded to him after seeing him come into the world like that. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't witness something like that and not feel, you know, a special connection. But there's another reason why you feel close to him. I heard you become a policewoman. But I have to remind you, it's totally unacceptable for a crane to become a cop. I like being a cop. Oh. I like being a cop. I know why you went to the police academy. Because of Luis. You wanted to go down to his level. Now, I'm sure that's all behind you now, right? No, it's not. I'm still a cop, and I like it. You like it? You know, you disappoint me. Oh, you disappoint me, grandfather. God, I used to worship you. I used to defend you to everyone. As well you should have. I'm the only one ever who gave a damn about you. That's not true. Luis loves me. Oh, Luis loves you. Well, that's too damn bad because you're coming with me. Grandfather, I am holding you at gunpoint until I can call for backup and they're going to take you to jail. Am I supposed to take this seriously? Oh, you'd better take it seriously because I've never been more serious. I know how evil you really are. I've seen the pain you inflict on people. I had to be strong. I had to be strong for my family. I had to be strong for you. No. No, you use people as if they were pawns on your chessboard. You play games with their lives. Well, I'll tell you something, kid. Life is a game. My rules. My game. And I'm in total control. Hmm. Not anymore. Game over. You really do disappoint. This is former officer Fancy Crane. I need a squad car sent to the Crane estate immediately. I have a fugitive in custody. <sighs> He's the most wanted man in Harmony. She doesn't love you, Grandfather. I, I don't think you're a monster. Take me. I'm ready. Look He's not going anywhere, pretty. Not until the squad car gets here and they take him away in handcuffs and throw him in jail. Hopefully forever. Don't say that. Why do you care? He has been nothing but cruel to you as he has been to everyone else. He's not worth caring about. You know, I blame Luis for everything. He made you forget your roots, and he made you hate me. No, Grandfather. I finally see who you really are, and I see a monster. He's not a monster. He's our grandfather. I love him. Run, grandfather, run! Stay tuned for more Passions. Miss an episode? Watch Passions online anytime. Plus, read Paloma's blog only on NBC.com. Okay. Hey. Oh, my God. You can't get away! Place is surrounded! Oh my god. Sharon. Sharon, you be okay?
know what you've done? Yes, yeah, protecting grandfather from you. He's a killer, pretty. He's a criminal. You don't know the things he's done. All I know is he's our family, and I can't believe you called the cops on him. And maybe security can grab him before he leaves the grounds. Hi, this is fan. <sighs> pretty, what are you doing? Give me the phone. No, what are you gonna do? Shoot me? Not unless I have to. Now give me the damn phone. No, I am saving grandfather from you, and he's gonna know who is a crane and who isn't. Give me the phone! <laughs> Oh, here it is, the honeymoon suite. Oh, go ahead, honey. Knock on the door. Okay, I cannot wait to see the look on Teresa's face when she sees you, because she'll know exactly why you're here. <laughs> yeah, you bet she will. And of course, there's no chatter with Whitney this time to interfere. Mm, nothing to keep you from telling Ethan that he is little Ethan's father. Which you should have told him hours ago. I mean, Gwen, really, it was no time to pontificate. You know what? I know. I hear you, and you're right. But I'm here now, and uh, I cannot wait to see the look on Teresa's face when I tell Ethan she has been lying to him this whole time. Oh, he is going to be furious when he finds out that she has been keeping him from his own son all this time. Oh, oh. He might even hit her. I don't know about that, but I do know that he'll leave her. Oh, Teresa, the honeymoon is over. You look so serious. What is it? I mean, what, what other reason could there be for me to be so bonded with little Ethan? Well, there is a reason. Believe me. And you need to know. Okay. No idea, but I'm gonna find out. No, actually. No, I'll come. I'll come. What the hell? Hi, I'm Eva Tamarga. Passions is moving, but if you call Direct TV at 1 888 999 0433, you won't miss a single minute.